Hey Berries, it's Lemon here, and we are back with another Wild Horse Island video. Today, I will be telling you guys some scams in Wild Horse Island um, to avoid falling for, so that you don't get scammed and lose your items, or like just like overall, you know, lose and be sad, because getting scammed is not fun, and I want to help you guys avoid that. So, let's get into the video. Okay, so the first type of scam you should definitely try to avoid is trust trades. Now, if you don't know what those are, that is when someone says like, ABC to trust trade. And then um, what they'll do is they'll ask for your horse. Like, is if you give them your really good horse, they will give it back to you with another good horse. But you have to trust them. So if you give them your Valentine Frisian, they'll give it back with a pumpkin perch. Um, now, this is a scam because most times people end up leaving the server after you trade them your horse and they don't give you your horse back along with another item. Now, it does seem very tempting like, oh, I could just get a super good horse like really easily if I just give it to this person and then they'll give it to me back. And then um, I will just... Uh, gain a really good horse super easily but no this is a scam there are a lot of sketchy people out there um so just make sure not to fall for that and keep your horses um and just don't trust anyone with it because you never know who could be behind the screen and who is there and who what their intentions are so just be very careful of that the next type of scam involves role play. So you could be role playing with someone on Role Play Island and then they need a they want a specific type of horse for role play. So they're like, "Hey, can I borrow your horse for the role play?" And then you trade it to them so that they can be that horse in the role play and then they just leave instead and they don't give you your horse back and it's just really really sad to fall for that. Um can make you very upset a lot of people have fallen for this scam so just try to avoid it and don't trade people your horse even if it's a role play and they seem really nice and trustworthy you just don't know them you don't know what they want they don't you don't know if they're going to give it back or not so just be careful and don't give people your horse the next type of scam that you can fall for if is if someone says that they have like this really nice horse and they want to trade it for like your horse they say that it's like maxed it has this pretty mane and stuff but so you, in trades you always just make sure to check their stats so you can just click the horse and then click stats there should be three dots in a trading thing and then you can just check their stats to see if they're like telling the truth that their horse is all maxed up and stuff and it will also say that it is dyed a color so my horse originally had black mane but i dyed it palomino so someone could be taking like a rare dye and saying like oh my horse naturally has this like i don't know santa fade hair dye like my horse has that that's its natural mane well you can all um, that brings value up if it has like natural mane like that. Um, but in reality, they could just be dyeing their horse's mane that color. So always check that before you complete the trade. Um, and sometimes people will want to trade like the same kind of horse for another for like your horse, and then um, they'll say that like theirs has like better stats. So can you add something along with it? And then you can just check to make sure that they are telling the truth and that they actually have that what the, the horse that they're saying that they have. So just make sure to check the stats because it can be deceiving and people can trick you. The next type of scam involves breeding where someone will say like, hey, does anyone have like a white Arabian I can borrow just to breed? I'll give it back. Um, I just want to use it to breed my horses. Now, um, you will probably, if you agree, fall into this scam, you will trade them the white Arabian or whatever horse they want, and then they will just leave the server. They won't um, give you it back after breeding it. They might not even stay to breed it. So just don't trust them with your horse. So they might seem like really genuine, like, oh, I just want to breed my horse like I need um I need this type of horse to breed with my other horse and I just want to borrow it and I'll give it right back after I'm done breeding 
Um, but chances are they won't trade it right back and that they will scam you, which is not fun. So just be wary of that, is that people will try and take your horses. The next type of scam to avoid is people training horses. Maybe someone in your server will be like, oh, I have a lot of money. I can um, train everyone's horses for them. Like, I will go up to, um, I think his name was like Steve or something, um, the horse trainer, and I will just train your horse to the max for you. Um, and then you will trade them your horse, and then you'll think that they're going to go up and... Um, breed the horse for or train the horse for you so that its stats are maxed and then they'll give it back to you um but chances are they won't give it back and that they will just take it and leave once they get the horse so just be careful and avoid that just train trust only trust your friends not online friends but like friends that you know in real life if someone's going to like do that for you um because you just can't trust strangers, even if they're, like, an online friend, and you think that you, like, know them and stuff, that you're, like, close enough friends with them, but they can scam you, they can scam you, maybe they were only being friends so that they can, like, scam you and stuff, so just be really, really careful about that, and just train your horse yourself, um, don't, like, trust other people to do it, you might think that they're trying to be nice, when in reality, they just want your horse, and they want to scam you, so just be careful of that scam. Okay, so those are all the scams that I have for you guys. There are probably more out there, but the moral of this is just don't trade your horses to random people if you are not getting anything back, like if you're just giving it to them for nothing. Like, don't trust that. Don't trust it if it's a role play, if they're going to um, level up your horse, if they're going to, I don't know, do something with your horse that they want to borrow it. Don't trust them. They want to borrow your horse, they're going to take it. Just don't trust it. People are just, the people in this world, some people in this world just are not good and they just want to scam you. So just be really careful of that. And it just breaks my heart that so many people want to do that. And it just makes everyone really sad and stuff when they fall for scams. So just be careful out there, you guys. Don't trust anyone um, with your horse um, if they want it and stuff. Like, just do it keep your horse do your own thing play the game have fun and try your best not to fall for scams i am really really sorry if you guys do fall for scams but i hope that you don't just don't do anything that sounds too good to be true like if something just sounds too good to be true like you're getting like a free like super rare horse for something it's probably is it probably is too good to be true and they are probably just trying to scam you so be really careful i hope that this video helped you guys out try your best not to get scammed and i will see you all in the next one bye berries